Hi guys, uh, this is a video about setting up this Chinese version of the Yi home camera. Uh, home camera. This uh, this was released probably around uh, a decade ago, uh, somewhere around 2015 or 16. I bought it in 2016 and I uh, used it for a year or so, and then th thereafter it's been lying uh, inside as in it was never used. So I tried setting it up and I could not get it connect get it to connect to the uh, to the respective application. I believe it was the Yi. Uh, uh, Yi camera app or the Mi Home app. I tried both of, both of those apps and uh, I could not get it. Uh, I could not connect the application with the camera itself. Though I was getting uh, prompts. It, uh, unfortunately, being a Chinese uh, device, it, it uh, the lady speaks you know in in Chinese and I uh, I I was definitely not able to understand what she was speaking. So I installed this uh, on a separate phone. I installed the Google Translate application and that made things a bit easier for me as to what uh, the the what was being spoken uh, i determined that it was uh, the, the camera itself was getting connected to my wi-fi network but uh, the the application the application that i had installed was not able to establish or connect with the camera so the i after searching here and there as an on the internet i was able to figure out that uh, for these china specific devices you need to install the china specific Chinese version of the uh, of the uh, Yi app. So I installed this. I'll provide the link of this website yicamera.wordpress.com in the description. So you would need to go ahead and uh, install the application, the Yi camera application from here uh, for the under the Chinese version. Uh, this uh, this specifically this video is specifically for the Chinese version. So if you, in case you are looking f uh, from somewhere else please check uh, other videos which are available especially for us but this is for the chinese uh, version and how can you determine if it's a chinese version behind the barcode the number the f third and fourth characters specifically mention cn so that indicates it's chinese device and uh, supports chinese firmware so install this application first on your on a, on your mobile device okay and once that is installed uh, I currently it I have already installed it after after trying a lot uh, doing a lot of uh, trial and errors as you can see it is working the camera if I move it is uh, it is working fine so I'll try to install it on a separate phone and let's see uh, what what all steps I have taken to get it to work so once installed it would ask you for a lot of privileges you would need to grant them all and then click on login so it would open up the MI login screen and you would need to set up uh, create an MI, an MI account if you don't have one already or you can use the existing uh, MI account so let me go ahead and log in so once you're logged in you would be landing upon the uh, you'd be getting the details about the app you would need to first go ahead and app add the device so the step to go about doing that is you would need to first assuming that you, the camera on your end is not set up you would need to first uh, reset it using probably a sim card rejector tool like this one and uh, there's a reset button at the back you need to press it for around five to six seconds until the uh, light currently it is i've turned the light off uh, it can be done you so it's an incognito mode sort of uh, once uh, assuming it's a new device or uh, you're trying to pair a new device just reset it first okay for for pressing by pressing the button for around five to six seconds and the light would hold steady and at that point of time it the lady would prompt uh, in uh, you know prompt uh, multiple things in chinese so use the application google translate to understand what is going on or what what she is trying to convey so let me go ahead and do that so as you can see i have uh, reset the device and the light, light has turned uh, yellowish in color and at this point you can uh, you know sort of press the uh, use the translator app to see what the lady is speaking just in case if you are not able to uh, you know understand basically you wouldn't be able to understand as she is so the translator says that it is waiting for a connection for so basically the connect the we are at the step where we can now go back to the uh, uh, to the device which we are trying to configure the app on and uh, so we have reset the camera successfully and uh, uh, as you can see we are waiting for a connection and you can click on I heard waiting for a connection now over here the trick over here is uh, the other apps so basically there are multiple apps available 
but uh, this particular uh, china version works only with this app because there are two available op options over here try with qr conf code config and try with wi-fi config so first go for the try qr con code config okay these options are not available on the india version of the application of ye app as well as the mi home app so once this is done you let me go ahead and put in you would need to select your wi-fi your internet wi-fi router details put in the details save the password as well and once that is done uh, we will go for the next step so once i have keyed in the password now uh, the time is for uh, you know you would need to it would generate a qr code like this one so you just need to display the qr code in front of the camera and the light would turn blue okay so as you can see the light has started blinking in blue now again you would need to go run for the google translator app and at this point uh, you would get the message hopefully uh, that the connection is successful with the wi-fi as you can see the light is steady now I could not capture that, but what 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 was uh, what she said was the Wi-Fi connection was successful. Okay. It's quite tricky because uh, you know we don't know when exactly the lady is going to speak. So at this point, if you click on next, for me it wasn't working. Okay. Uh, you know it it goes it sort of uh, this tries to start. Uh, Okay, so luckily for me this time it worked. As in, uh, as you can see, if I click on the, uh, yeah, it is it is getting, uh, uh, it is working fine. But uh, you might get a firmware update thing, uh, at no cost update it. As in, don't update it. Just simply cancel it out because I've heard that after the update it it sort of breaks again. So don't bother updating it. Uh, just simply go back. Okay, so. Uh, and as I said, if the connection between the Wi-Fi and the cam camera is successful based on the previous step and the application itself is not able to connect with the camera, go back ahead and add the device again. Okay. And this time around, last time we went with the co QR code config thing. This time go for try. So then try the first option and try uh, after putting in the password, it would it would say it was trying to connect with the router and at this point of time it would say you need to wait for a couple of minutes and if it is successful you should be able to see the application as in the the camera connected in the because it is in the same network it the cam the camera would be visible let's see if it uh, if it, uh, if if this thing works out this time so if all is well then uh, you should be able to see the camera over here uh, once the uh, once you click uh, once the phone when the once the application has established a connection with the router you should be able to see the the camera over here and then you can go about uh, you know setting it up uh, on the home screen okay so this is the easiest way out that i figured uh, that i figured based on my research and if this doesn't work as in if uh, uh, you know if it is still not able to detect uh, the camera the camera is getting connected to the wi-fi and you're not able to detect uh, the camera yeah, so here it is. It was because I haven't uh, successfully, uh, you know, I was just trying to demonstrate something over here. But uh, the thing is, uh, I've already set up, set it up on this device, so I'm able to access it correctly. As in, if you see, if I move the camera, it is working fine. But if, but if in case if it doesn't work for you, then you would need to follow the next steps. In case it doesn't work for you, okay. So then go for go to this website. Basically, it's a GitHub uh, link and over here there's a comment wherein the guy has already has mentioned the steps as in what needs to be done to downgrade the firmware okay yeah. all the steps are mentioned over here and you would need to extract this uh, file basically you would need to turn off the camera pull out the the memory card out of it format it all the data in it would be wiped off and then extract and copy this firmware so you would need to download it by clicking on the link uh, this would be a zip file you would need to extract it extracting the zip it would be looking something like this it's a home file and you would need to copy this file and simply paste it on the uh, on the 
SD card or the, the micro SD card simply paste it on the micro SD card at the root level so basically after formatting it there's nothing it no, nothing uh, available on the micro SD card simply copy paste this file on the micro SD card after pasting the home file on the SD card uh, come back as in follow these these steps you know diligently turn on the camera to hold down the button reset button then turn it off turn off the camera insert the memory card turn on the cam camera again wait for about five minutes and then follow the steps that I that I'd mentioned in the the first part of the video go back to the app that you downloaded the Chinese version of the app and hopefully this should solve the issue and ensure that you don't go for uh, you know once it is connected successfully uh, ensure that you don't go for the update again you would be prompted to update the firmware don't please don't update it okay I was uh, I had almost given up on the camera you know it, uh, this is just a DIY project I would not be using this camera but I wanted to see if it is working and it was a pain to get it to get it to work so I've, I'm creating this video so if in the future if I try to if it doesn't work again at least I know what needs to be done to get it to work that's it about that's about it guys uh, hopefully you it would you know uh, it is helpful for you guys thank you and goodbye for now